Hey guys, it is December 25th, 2020. It's Christmas Day, and I have some really, really great news for you guys. For those of us who use and love iPicky, uh, and we've been waiting for them to update to HTML5 because we know that Flash is going to go away at the end of the year. Well, as of now, it's a reality. They have updated. Again, this just happened, okay, at the 11th hour. And this is so exciting. I wanted to let you know that if you still wanted to use the Flash version, they are still enabling that, okay? It'll be removed in 2021, but again, now you don't need it, okay? This is a huge relief. I know how much you guys absolutely adore this program, as do I. I've shared all kinds of really cool tips. I know other, other designers and stuff have as well, so we are all... We all have reason to celebrate. I did want to make mention real quick that they're doing this for free. And I kind of sat back and sort of wondered, like, I wonder if the program is still going to be free. And I haven't seen or heard anything about any charges, but stuff like this really helps out. Okay, so I went ahead, I enabled my, I, I enabled the ads. I want to say I did this months ago. Okay, um, it doesn't cost anything. They're you're gonna have this box anyway, so you may as well allow them to run the ads. This is just my take on things because everybody deserves to make an honest living. And this is such an amazing site and they went ahead and they lived up to their promise and it's an honor and a pleasure for me to go ahead and enable these ads, okay? Anything to support them. Really quick, let's do a quick walkthrough. So in this case, you would simply click create a design. You don't need to enable anything, okay? And as you can see here, they've still, they're still preloaded with the custom sizes. You can still add your own in as well, okay? So I believe the max before was about 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, probably the same here, okay? You can still choose your canvas color from here. You can still, you know, create the transparent background, which is a big thing that I absolutely loved about iPicky. You can always start from an image here if you're going to use this as a photo editing program. All right, their text, okay, they've still got all of these really cool fonts, and it looks like they added a few basic ones um, in, a few basic additional ones in. All right, I don't remember seeing this one or this one before or even the timeless, okay. Um, and as you can see here, you know, they've still got all kinds of really cool stuff. Whether or not you can bring your own in, I am not entirely sure. They did let me know that some features might not be coming back in. Okay, it's just gonna depend, but let me see here. Solid fonts, basic fonts. Okay, so it looks like what they've done here is they've, oh, okay, they've created like some additional menu options here. Okay, so this is, I guess this is what they did. So this has changed a little bit. So before you were able to add your own in, like I said, this is just brand new. They're beta testing it and um, we'll see what happens, okay? So there is that, okay? And of course you can still change the coloring of your fonts, okay? You can still, I mean of your text, you can still use the drop shadow feature and you've got all of these different, uh, different options here, okay? Right, you've still got the stroke option, the gradient option. I love the gradient option. That's always been kind of cool. You still have your ability to use the radial or the linear version of that if you wanted to, okay? And simply you would, you know, continue to use the export. And you've still got, you know, your basic little geometric designs here that you can use if you wanted to, okay? But like I said, they are beta testing, okay? So what I wanted to let you know, all right, is that you're going to probably want to give them some time, all right, to use, you know, kind of make whatever improvements. There's a cropping issue going on right now. I've seen it on my end. So I will do what I can to kind of work with them and alert them to some of the things that I have noticed. But again, I just wanted to let you know that the program is out. They are actively working on it and we are in communications right now. And I just wanted to bring you this bit of amazing, amazing, wonderful news. Okay, guys. So just to wrap up, iPicky HTML5 is officially out. The program still seems to be free. A lot of the same features are still in there. 
I encourage you to maybe run the ads, help, you know, help support them in whatever it is that they're doing. Again, it's a free program and it is tough to find good free browser-based programs that give you as many options as this one has. And um, just give them some time, you know, to tweak and make their updates because again, they delivered. They did what they needed to do and they delivered and I consider it to be a wonderful gift and a blessing on Christmas and I hope you guys do as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will you know, continue to create more videos showing you guys really cool little beginner design tips using free tools. And I wish you a wonderful holiday season and until next time, take care.